Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got some news to report, man. In the interview as well with Trife Gangster, man. R.P. Banga. Um, and Banga lost his life in a tragic situation that took place in Irving Plaza. Almost seven years ago, come May 25th, that'd be the anniversary for Banga's death. You know what I mean? Um, sad situation, man. Prayers up to his family. But um, since then, you know, Tax Stone... Um, has been on trial for that particular case. He's actually convicted of um, manslaughter, as well as Troy Ave. You know, Troy Ave had to go and on the stand and speak on behalf of what took place, the events that took place that night at Irving Plaza. Now, now speeding up things, you know, you had this whole situation where it's a back and forth with Mayno, WAC 100, and um, Troy Ave over this chain situation. Now, this is where it, it like it gets a little tricky, and I'm gonna put out this audio right now. I'm gonna let y'all hear this audio, but it's basically me having a conversation with Trive Gangster in regards to China Mac. Like, did China Mac insert himself into this situation? A lot of people from New York, you know, I've been watching a lot of different bloggers. Shout out the 050 Movement, you know, um, Harlem Legend TV. Um, they've been saying some things, you know, in, in regards to this China Mac guy. So. Let's get to it. This is what Tripe Gangster had to say about China Mac. Mac Let's go. None. I'm ready to slap the shit out of China Mac. Y'all can tell him I said that too. Yeah, that nigga clout chasing, bro. That nigga yeah, worse than Vlad, yeah, bro. Yeah, nah, bro. That nigga hey, worse than Vlad TV, bro. Hey, yo, Tripe, I got a question for you. Like, um, wasn't China Mac always like surrounded by blood niggas in New York? Now, China Mac was up north of blood niggas. If you if you did stay time in, in New York State, you ain't had no choice but to be surrounded by blood. Right, 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 right. And you even I don't care what nobody tell you, you had to fuck with him or you was or you was fooled yourself. Right, you know right, I mean? right, right. So he just gravitated to the to the homies, bro. Right, right. I mean, New York is predominantly a blood state, you know what I'm saying? I'm from New York, I should know that. But my thing is it's kind of weird for me. Like, I see Son and Cali, and he, like, he chilling with them, but Crips. I mean, it's not easy to chill with blood. If it, especially from out of state, they don't know you. So, you know what I mean? But it was kind of weird. It's kind of ironic. It's not weird. It's ironic how in New York he was, like, mostly with Don Moves, and Shining now Mac, he, except he and Cali, he was a bunch of Crips. That's my only issue with it. Like it's kind of ironic, but other than that, I don't know. Science. Can everybody share the room? Can you guys share the room, please? China Mac don't really like black people, man. China Mac just exploiting this culture, man. Trying to make money off this shit, man. That nigga don't really like us, bro. But even when Mano said in that thing, it's like he was speaking on the behalf of like he was saying like he said something to the scent, like basically Troy Ave is not thinking about the victim's family and this, that, and the third. And like he commented like like on something like that. I'm like, damn, like that means he must be cool with, with Trife in this in the in that side of the family. You know what I mean? That's what I I was thinking from the statement he like he made, like you know what I mean? Nah, that ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I don't have no I don't have no personal relationship with me, no. What I did see, I see China hit, I see China hit, hit whack up, then messaged him or whatever, tell him out, niggas got problems with you, but I don't see nothing wrong. So he could line up that live to create that necessary fuckery. Like that shit is, that shit. Yeah, that shit, that shit is crazy. That's why I'm yeah, saying, what cool. he got to do with it. Like, hey, try Gates, I'm going to um, have you react to this audio that I'm going to play at China Mac. Let me take, you tell me what you think.
Yeah, I just looked at that link, man. That shit is disgusting work, man. This shit is just... Niggas don't be satisfied till it's blood up in their fucking mouth, man. Yeah, that's crazy for for him to even like you know what I'm saying text somebody about somebody else's problems and beef like inserting yourself in this shit like it's crazy especially when you're from New York and you're supposed to be a, like cool with with both parties you're supposed to just mind your business like, if you're not squashing it like yeah, yeah like what who are you to think first of all you're not built to squash nothing between nobody and that and that statue right. Who are you to feel that you have a say so in that conversation? It had nothing to do with China Mac whatsoever. Whatever Mano and, and Wack is saying back and forth to each other, fuck that got to do with you, boy. Like, I don't understand. Other than you putting, you putting your, 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 yourself in black people business yet again. To see us go at each other yet again. It's this view shit, Trice, man. I'm just getting tired of it, man. Everything is for a fucking view to a nigga getting viewed. For real, man. Everything is That's nigga so getting viewed. I'm about to take that. Uh, yo, I'm going. Man. I love y'all, man. It, it, I can't it, stand this until shit. Until somebody going, get man. hurt, yeah. That's what China yeah. gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Until a nigga being viewed over. For real, man. Right. Niggas don't get he gonna enough be right of back, shit. right, right on to the next nigga story and shit. Jumping in that shit. He ain't covering no shit in Chinatown. Y'all don't see him doing none of that shit, do you? No, no, no. That's wrong, though. Goes he is covering his shit in his and with his community. He he shouldn't be in our business. Oh, no, he's, he's covering not, his Chinese. He's covering, no, he's not. No, bro. he's, bro. he's not jumping in no drama in Chinatown, bro. He's covering when a black person does something to an Asian, bro. Well, that's his business. That's his. Community. No, hold no, on. That's not. No, that's not what we talk about. Let's not spin that. That's not what we talk about. We talking about this fuckery in Chinatown too, boy. We're not going to talk about. We talking about beefing between two individuals. I ain't never seen him put up on his page two Asians beefing with each other. If you find that, then you push that to me. Other than that, I don't want to hear none of that shit you talking about because that's not facts. You and the only time he's speaking up is when he wanna oh, we wanna protect his people and make it seem like black people are attacking his people. That's the only time he's an activist for his people, bro. So then we saying the same thing. Nigga. So uh, let me tell you this. I don't think Asians and other relationships, uh, other races, post their business like we do. No, no, that's not facts, bro. It's that it's for social media to make sure that album is put. I ain't never seen no Asians. The algorithm, bro. Because you're not in a you're not in a community. You're not in a community. That's why you're not so a I'm part not of their social right. community on online or any of that. Just, yeah, but I'm just saying I never seen you know. No ages, or you know, can't go back and forth online. Or Chinese. Yeah, but yeah, there's rooms on this app. Algorithm, bro. They not in your algorithm. You not in that, bro. Like he's jumping over here into our algorithm, bro, and jumping in all type of shit he can jump in about black people, bro. But he not jumping over there into his people shit and finding out they dramas and trying to cover that shit, bro. Oh no, I definitely feel you on that. I'm just saying. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. China, China Mac is definitely out of pocket, like. This is a sec like second or third time within what like six months he been involved in this shit self with shit that don't got nothing to do with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's just starting to be known for this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit's getting bad. Yeah, because look, bro, here's the thing. That's why I say like he definitely was a cloud chase move because the same person that he said that he had a problem with Math Hoffa doing the interview with, China Mac said that we should not support their platform. And that's what he told his his own following, right? About Math Hoffa. And then now we got this situation where it's similar. You know what I'm saying? He he said that Math Hoffa gave him the interview, so he must be pro Troy Ave. And just like with WAC 100, he's clearly he's telling people he's pro on uh, Troy Ave. And yet he texted him saying that he didn't have that type of energy. I'm trying to figure out is it because he's on the West Coast? You know, he got to deal with these people, I guess, or it's just he's just a cloud chaser, bro. Because it don't make sense. Them scenarios are very, they the same. Yeah, like he said, man, them motherfuckers think it's all games. Some motherfucker being viewed and shit get real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, this shit is uncalled for, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause this shit could get real nasty either way, and it's all about what 
about nothing. All Chinaman worried about is getting his fucking views, bro. That shit yeah. crazy, man. That's what's crazy. He really, he really, he really don't like black people, though, bro. This nigga did a video a couple weeks ago, bro, and that nigga just really like you could tell like he been feeling this way about black people, but he finally let it out while he was mad at Charleston White, and it's like, damn, this how you really feel about black people, you know what I'm saying? Like he let all that shit out, bro. I wouldn't say how you feel about black people because I know like, bro, I'm gonna send got... you, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send you the video, and after you watch the video, I guarantee you, I bet you any amount of money, you feel the same way I'm telling, I'm saying right now, bro. Yeah. You hit his, but shit. you hit his personally, shit. I just think out his mouth, bro. I just it feels like he's getting too comfortable with us. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he's he's asserting himself, like he's feeling too comfortable in a, what we call the house of hip hop. And it's like, yo, bro, like you're doing too much now, bro. Like, chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? And some people I, I think him and Wack built a a personal relationship when he came out there to the West Coast. I gotta go, so I'm gonna check it out. But yeah, but ain't no personal relationship, man. You ain't minding your business. Hey, whack. Hey, I don't know why they saying this about you, but I know you if it's the East Coast. Like, man, shut up. Like, come on. Like, you going to text that man that? You know what I mean? Like, get out of here. Acting like he got some type of say so to speak for the East Coast. Nigga, go on your ass on, man. man. Yeah, he is acting like he's the East Coast representative for y'all right now and shit. Like he's speaking on the half of the, uh, the East Coast. And I think what it is with Wack and Mano, I think it what it is behind that Jim Jones. Because Jim Jones fucked with Mano, or, you know, Mano and kind of threw him um, in the bunch. We just, we just played the audio. Mano and Wack 100 got into it six years ago. Oh, did they? Oh, interview. okay. Oh, I did yeah. on Doc Hicks about um magic situation uh, with the game and Meek mm. Mill. So oh, okay. then uh, Mano had responded to him and pretty much said the same exact shit he said now. He want the fade, suck my D, um, <laughs> F you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I got a, a lot of fades to catch this summer. <laughs> hey, bro, we played, uh, we played, uh, a blogger that was speaking on it back then, two, six years ago, and he said that he was like, Wack 100, he got like 10 people in that he, he's been get, getting into it with. We don't know if something happens to him, who did it, because he gets into it with everybody. And back then, bro, that was six years ago, and dude said 10 people. Like, imagine now, that shit, like, in the hundreds. Shit is crazy, man. Some niggas need to get out of the street and go to church or some shit. You said everybody covering the same shit. It don't got nothing to do with China Mac. Yeah, that that's possible. That's possible, bro. But if it was just he was he went live and then dude jumped on his live and boom, he had that conversation. That's something different. But I know for a fact he inserted himself because Wack 100 put up the post of him texting him this morning. You feel me? So, like they said earlier, it's like, you know, I get it. Insert yourself. You're, you're a blogger. You, you cover hip hop culture. I get it, right? But all they saying is, is like, when you going to start covering. Yo, people, like, when it come to Wu-Tang Clan, it come to a lot of different hip-hop artists, they very big in the Asian community. You feel me? So it's like, you can highlight that type of shit. That's part of hip-hop, too, the graffiti shit. I don't see none of that, him covering none of that shit. Them Asians that's big in that graffiti for hip-hop. And, you know what I'm saying? They some of, they behind some of the uh, hip-hop, old hip-hop stories, you know? Or when we was cultivating this culture. But he don't do that. In fact, the eyeballs didn't go on to him until he started talking about Vlad Loki. When he started dissing Vlad and trying to put Vlad in that boat, in that boat as a um, cop.
people start putting their eyeballs on them, paying attention to them. But yeah, Trife Gaffney came in. He cleared up a lot because I have been getting a few different com um, comments in regards to certain things that I had heard and seen on uh, social media, and they was telling me to check certain interviews. So we had them here. So I'm like, you know what? Why not ask him the questions? Also, salute to uh, Trife Gaffney, man. <laughs> 